Welcome back to Completely Karen. Today I am following up my previous video where I did a review of Marcella season one and I am reviewing Marcella season two which came out on Netflix a little while ago. Like always, I'm going to go into spoilers. If you don't want to know, don't watch yet. All right, so if you watched my previous video of season one, you will know that I really loved this show and was super excited about it and couldn't wait to watch season two. And I was just like overjoyed because I love a good detective procedural and it was really great, British, whatever. A lot of things didn't make sense, but I was, you know, hoping that things would be explained. Um, can we say Marcella's weird blackouts? Nobody knows. I was not very impressed with season two, I have to say. Yes, there were some like jaw-dropping moments where things were revealed, like the serial killer. I did not expect it to be the neighbor, like the lady, the mom of Edward's girlfriend. Like, I didn't see that coming. And so when it's like, coming out that that is going to be the big reveal, I was very shocked and surprised. There were just a lot of things about this season that were very disturbing and things that I just don't know that I can get over for this, for this show. And really, most of them center around Marcella. I'm really sorry to say. I think that this actress, Anna Friel, or Free Friel, or Frell, not sure how to say it. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. I'm really sorry. I think she's a great, great actress. And I still think she's an amazing detective. But as a human being, she is, she's a disgusting human being. Let's just say it. Let's just put it out there on the table. She's a disgusting human being who really struggles with personal relationships, boundaries, knowing how to treat people and she literally thinks that she is better than everyone, but that quickly goes downhill in this this season as she realizes what a piece of trash human being she is to people and realizes that because of that, people do not want to be in her life, which is very sad. Her husband still hate him. He's still a total jerk. He treats her like trash. He literally calls her a disease. And then like that scene where he beat himself up but knew that she would go into one of her blackouts and not remember it. And then when she woke up, he like blamed it on her and said that she had done it. I mean, that's just, that's a terrible thing to do to someone who's really struggling mentally. But he's not the person that she treats like crap. Her coworkers, she has no respect for them whatsoever. She, um, people she investigates, she just throws them to the wolves no matter what and some really terrible things happen because of it. And um, like I know that that pedophile guy or pedophile as they like to say in England, which is like my favorite word ever. And I have to say, if you haven't seen the IT crowd, <laughs> go watch it because there is the greatest episode of one of the characters who dates someone named Peter File. <laughs> and then the whole like play on pedophile, pedophile. Watch it, it's hilarious. Pretty sure IT crowd is still on Netflix if you haven't seen it yet. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to Marcella. Okay, so I mean the pedophile guy who she just, he's a terrible person, he's gross, he's struggling and he pretends like he's better but he's not. Um, but the fact that she had a hand in like, sort of in a roundabout way in the baby dying, I'm not to say, I'm not saying that Marcella caused the baby's miscarriage or death, but definitely the, the situation and the things that happened because of it were as a result of Marcella. And it was very sad, although probably better off in the end. Anyway, I don't know. This season was very, I had so many mixed feelings about it, you guys. Tell me what you thought. I need to know because I really loved season one and this season, all the revelations of the flashbacks, I just, I, I couldn't handle it. Like the very last episode, okay, when she goes to the doctor who's helping her with her flashbacks and she realizes that she basically killed her child because 
either she whether she was in postpartum depression I don't know or if she was just exhausted which is a thing for new parents especially moms and you don't get any sleep and your baby is crying constantly and she obviously her ch her children were older so she was going back to being a mom after a really long break and maybe she had kind of forgotten how to like handle that or to ask for help Marcella is not the type of person that asks for help she just doesn't so for her to not ask somebody to come help her with her brand new baby who is constantly crying is not really a surprise it's just really sad that she won't get over like that um, that ego to be able to ask somebody for help and then the result was her basically smothering her baby to death which is literally the most heartbreaking thing ever and it was so disturbing that because of that act and her like repressing that memory all of these other really terrible things happened in her life and and then she is tries to commit suicide I don't even know what she was trying to do with trying to cut her face off or something like literally I don't know what was happening it was disturbing and weird but then the ending just didn't make sense to me like I just feel like they should have ended it like it just should have been like okay you're done you know like you need mental help majorly bad maybe go check yourself into a psych unit or something but to have her just living on the streets and then nine days later some dude that we don't know who he is but clearly he works for some agency first of all knows where to find her why would he know that's not even she's like hiding out also he's like okay so uh it looks like your dna which if you remember for season one she got dna from like a homeless person to use as her DNA on police file because she didn't want her DNA on police file. So obviously this homeless woman died in a fire and so now everybody thinks that Marcella died because of that. And he's like, so we really could use a, uh, an investigator who is like a dead police officer that everybody thinks is dead to go undercover so she can do all of these things that are terrible and get no help at all for the mental instability and yet she still gets to go be an investigator like I know you're good at your job but you're not that good you're not good enough that you can just move on without remembering and without being like a normal human being I don't buy it and I don't like it is all I'm saying so I don't know I just, I don't know if I'll watch season three when it comes out. I just don't know if I can handle it. It was just really draining. I didn't really enjoy the resolution of like the case being solved. There were a lot of plot holes and Marcella has just devolved into this character that I don't like anymore. And it's really sad. So anyway, that's my review of Marcella. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought of the season. I know I'm forgetting like a million things that I didn't even talk about in this in this review because it was eight episodes and there's a lot to say. But um, yeah, just overall I wasn't I wasn't pleased. I'm like, what happened to that nurse girl? Did they ever ever even show what happened to her? She just disappeared. I don't know. They didn't explain that. And they didn't they didn't explain a lot of things. And I was like, yeah, okay just end why don't you in this weird way I don't get it whatever leave me a comment let me know what you guys thought because if you liked it I'd like to know why I, I really want to know like what redeeming qualities this season had because I don't see them I don't think it's a thing and make sure and subscribe give me a thumbs up you guys are amazing thank you so much for watching and for all of the comments and suggestions that you guys leave me in the comments you're awesome I love you guys so much thanks so much and I will see you next time on completely Karen bye